Good morning, it is Sunday and it's the start of a whole new week. I'm still getting over a cold that I have, so I'm just kind of like a little conge- Oh my god, is that thing still there? I need to clean the sensor. This week is going to be productive because on top of work, I am back in school now, so yay! Discussion posts and research papers and quizzes. And, uh, and I also have to pack for Massachusetts because I am going to do a surprise visit to see Jeannie and Sophia and my family. As far as I know, Jeannie has no idea that I'm coming to see her. It's about 9 o'clock in the evening. I woke up maybe a couple hours ago. I have a couple things to do in preparation of going to Boston and then expecting guests right when I come back. So yeah, I get some cleaning to do here. Before I start my night, I was craving for a cinnamon raisin bagel, which I don't have at home. Sometimes we do, but we don't have any right now. So I just like went out and got a cinnamon raisin bagel from Starbucks. There's a part of me is like, you just wasted some money on gas and food that you didn't really need. You could have had food at home, but no. I was like, I'm craving a cinnamon raisin bagel. I'm stubborn, I'm gonna go get it. But on the way back, I'm like, did I really go out just to get a bagel? Yes, yes I did. No regrets. I just started back up on my birth control and I don't know if this is gonna make me crazy or not. That's what I'm a little bit scared of, the side effects of it. The last time I was on birth control, which was years and years and years ago, I, I guess I was really moody and cranky. Getting this cinnamon raisin bagel because I was craving for it, normally not something that I do. But I mean, look at it, it's so beautiful. Oh. On my way to work and I am tired. I need some coffee. Did you guys watch my, what is that noise? There's like this glass sound every time like I break and I have no idea where it's coming from. I don't like it. It's like a clink and I have no glass in my car that I know of. Sometimes my dad borrows my car. Anyway, if you watch my which vlog was it? When I became a pass holder again, I talked about unfriending people on Facebook because either I haven't talked to them in a very long time and we were never close friends or they were part of my past and I'm trying to move forward. And I thought it would come back and bite me in the butt if I unfriended people or start up drama or controversy. And that's another reason why I want to unfriend people. I don't care about drama. So it did come back and bite me. I woke up to a message from one person whom I've only talked like a handful of times just online, seen once, maybe twice out in person by just bumping into this person. And I was initially introduced to this friend by some other person that I used to do hair on like years and years ago. So this person noticed that I unfriended him and where is that noise coming from? Do you guys hear it? Am I going crazy? Oh, something underneath my seat. I just touched something. So anyway, this guy friend requested me and I declined because I unfriended you for a reason. And then he messages me and he says, wait till I get into the drive-thru. Can I get a medium ice caramel latte with almond milk, please? He messaged me saying, apparently you didn't defriend me by mistake. So what's the reason? There's a part of me that's like, just ignore it. You don't even need to explain yourself. I don't want to be rude and ghost him. I think he deserves an explanation, but this is like one of the reasons why I was kind of iffy about unfriending people. Thank you. Oh, I forgot my stainless steel straws. But anyway, it is off to work, I go. So it's the next day, just got home from work. I have not checked under my seat with whatever that glass thing is. Let's see what it is. Oh. What the heck? Why is there a cup underneath my chair? How do you lose a cup under a car seat? I don't get it. I know. I'm always working. I'm in my uniform. I'm in my car going back and forth to work. Anyway, I am done with work for the week. It's Friday and I am going to go to Boston in about an hour. So I'm rushing home shoving my face with some food because I'm hungry. Also got myself this shot in the dark. 
drink from Dunkin' Donuts. I don't, I've never had this before, but I'm falling asleep and I plan on taking naps on the plane, but I know I'm not going to have a restful rest, restful rest. rest. I know it's going to be a lot of go, go, go today, so it's just going to have to suck it up. Oh, oh, that was gross. You know how sometimes your salivary gland underneath your tongue just like squirts? <laughs> That's what just happened. And I'm so sexy. I decided to take a shower and uh, wash off my makeup because, you know, it's gross to go out in public after you've been working at the hospital. You know, you carry around disease and whatnot. But I only have 15 minutes until I have to go. So, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. more so because I need to change my schedule into a normal human being schedule. I always get like this and it sucks but I'm looking forward to this weekend spending time with the family and just hanging out and I'm excited to see snow again tonight. There's a big storm coming through. Hopefully I don't get snowed in though because I gotta go home on Monday. Last night we just hung out and it was really nice. I know I didn't record too much. Today we're just gonna hang out even more, but we need to go to Sophia's um, dance class, which I'm excited to see. I think Sophia is awake. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Do you see yourself? It's a camera. It's like a TV right there. Yeah, with Sophia. Cheers. Cheers. Lunchtime at Longhorn. Sophia, what are you eating? I'm eating chicken tenders. Chicken tenders? They look cool, actually. They look like a... Crabs. Crabs? 
Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's snowing. <laughs> You're in my shot. We got some salt because it's gonna ice over and like Jeannie, we have to get this one because there's a dog on it. It was legit. <laughs> it's legit because there's a dog on it and the ice is, I mean, and the salt is blue. Oh my God, this one is so heavy. Let's get that Insta pot. You got it? You need any help? You good? Okay. <laughs> I'm here for you um, emotionally and morally, you know? I'm supporting you. She's roasting you, man. I forgot this. I forgot that. Oh my gosh. I forgot, 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 forgot. How does that make you feel, Johnny? Feel sad, Jeannie. She's saying, suck it up. You're suck weak. Up, buttercup. <laughs> Such a bully. <laughs> I'm <not> so nice. <laughs> so nice. You're awesome. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> Every time I come over, Jeannie does my nails. Sophia, please don't step on me. Oh. Game ready for dinner. We're baking treats. Are you flossing? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Chef Johnny in the his house. It's so good. Is it? Did yeah. you try it? He said it was good? Yeah. This is Johnny's first time making bumbo, eh? So, uh, we'll see, Johnny. Time to try this. No, it's good. Mm, it's flavorful. I like it. What do you think, Jeannie? It's good. How many stars out of five? I'll give you a five for a first time. I give a five too. Don't let it go to your head though. Let it go to his head. He can cook. Oh, I mean, it's so good, Johnny. Cook all the time. Yeah. Okay, that'll make fun. Bye. Jeannie is making fun of me for how I close out my vlogs because I say bye. No, she doesn't say bye. She says bye. <laughs> but that's like so exaggerated. So we go back to old vlogs. Bye. 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 Dinner was great. We enjoyed family time and we'll have plenty of family time for the rest of this trip, which is a day and a half. <laughs> this one has been a really short trip. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here since it's almost midnight. I hope everyone had a great week and I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. I will see you guys in next week's vlog. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.